Hello, uh, my name is Ethan Hawker and I'm here to chat a little bit on this video about the class Intro to Statistics. Uh, I am teaching four Intro to Stats classes th this year, so it's the, the majority of my day. And uh, I guess before I talk about the class, let me talk a little bit about me. Here's my email address. If you need to get a hold of me, please do. I have been here in Heartland Schools. This is my 26th year. I taught math for 20 years uh, at the high school, all classes. Uh, and then I took a break and I was an instructional math coach for the district. And then I went to assistant principal at uh, Farms for almost four years. But I missed teaching. I missed being in the classroom. I missed having students. And I was able to get back in the classroom last year. I taught stats uh, halfway through the year. I came in and finished up the year. And I am really happy to be teaching Intro to Stats again this year. It is a great class. Um, so I'm happy to be back in the classroom. My family also lives in the district. My son, we just moved into U of M. My daughter is a sophomore. My wife is a vet. She works out in Union Lake. I, really, I play a lot of golf. I love basketball. And I'm getting back into the game <clears throat> of chess. All right, so more about this class. Stats. I, I love this class, uh, mostly seniors. I do have a few juniors in there. And it's it's got a wide range of uh, mathematical ability uh, students. Uh, we have some kids in here who love math, AP Calc students last year, taking stats this year. And then we have other students that math may not have been their favorite thing, um, but they're looking for something a little different here in their senior year. And I think this is a perfect class for all kids. Uh, it is different than most math classes. There is uh, some lecture time and there is a lot. There's some practice we do that's typical of a math class, but this is a lot more activity based. Uh, when we talk statistics, uh, we're talking about data. So we're doing a lot of collecting that data or using data to come up with some conclu conclusions. Uh, it's a great class because it's very hands on. The things are all applicable. Um, when am I ever going to need this, or what's where's this at in the real world? Really, never gets asked in this class because we're talking about numbers that are from the real world, if not just our class alone. Um, so it's a nice, I think, uh, capping math class. It prepares students for stats classes that more and more majors are now requiring in college. So I think this is a great place for a student to start that uh, math path. Uh, in the future and if you're a junior this year then AP stats is a perfect place to jump next year this this is not an AP class um, it, it's a lot of the same topics but not taught at the same level or with the same expectations um, that's our AP stats class which could follow this one up okay goals for this year I guess I want students to uh, learn how to come up with a question collect come up with a plan on how to collect data collect that data and then uh, make some decisions using the data that's really what this class is about uh, we, we do it in uh, different ways and the level of precision changes uh, depending on the topic um, but it's about collecting data and using data uh, in a mathematical way um, not making decisions based on what we think but based on what the numbers tell us uh, so that's kind of the, the, the big idea of the class I did attach a syllabus uh, to the email I sent, so I encourage you to check that out. Um, students will need a graphing calculator this year. I have, I have a bunch in my classroom. Uh, there is a free app that they can use as well, or they can bring in their TI-84s. Google Classroom is updated uh, regularly. Every day uh, the calendar gets updated and the uh, information, the notes, the practice, uh, is on the Google, Google Classroom as well. That's where students should be going if they miss. Um, and you can also check it out to see where we're at, what we're working on. Grading, uh, there is an 80% summative, so the tests will weight 80%. The in-class, the daily work, uh, is a 20% chunk of the final grade. Each unit will have two uh, tests. I call them tests, but one is like a handwritten test and the other one will be a project or an activity based on the unit. Um, so even though we're pretty heavy on the tests for the grade, uh, for the final grade, kids get a lot of opportunities to, um, if they have some poor scores here or there, there's definitely a lot of opportunities to help raise that grade up. 
Um, communication is a huge thing. I will be talking with kids regularly on how they're doing. We'll be uh, assessing them formatively quite often throughout the week and prior to a test so students will know, uh, have a good idea where they're at and I will too so that we can make uh, the changes necessary and get the learning done so that when they are ready for the tests, that project, that test, uh, they're comfortable, they're ready to go and hopefully we see the success we're, uh, we're, we're shooting for. And speaking of success, I guess my, my one kind of, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of thinking this for myself this year and I'm encouraging my students to think it, is uh, to pursue success. Pursue means it's active, it's something you're doing, you're going out of your way to, to make it happen, and success is that we should be uh, looking to be successful in everything we do, whether it's our, our, our daily work, our working with groups, uh, our communication with uh, other students, with the teacher, um, we're just going after it. And that's what we expect success, and we're going to get there. Anyways, I'm really glad to be back at the high school, and I'm really glad to have your kids in my class. Uh, it's going to be a great year, and I, I hope you know that my, uh, my email, my inbox, my, my phone is doors open. Uh, give me a call and let me know if you have questions or um, any concerns. Thank you.